Metabolism is a crucial topic to understand, so I want to do a training and an education, just a short piece on metabolism, because understanding metabolism really is everything. It's, it's crucial. If you think about so many issues going on today, we have metabolic disorders. Of course, we know diabetes is a metabolic disorder, but we also believe cancer is a metabolic disorder. And a lot of degenerative disease conditions are a problem with metabolism. So I want to help understand diet related to metabolism because I think it's extremely confusing. There's so many extreme diets out there like carnivore, like keto, like paleo, and you can go on down the list. And then there's the other extremes at the other end of like veganism and fruitarian all fruit diet. And I think understanding foods and how they interact in the human body is crucial. So I'm going to give you a couple of key concepts I want you to understand because I think correcting metabolism is crucial for human health. No matter what your condition is, no matter what your disorder is, I think correcting metabolism is going to help. So here's the simplicity of it. I'm trying to simplify a, a, a complicated topic, but the body needs fuel. It needs energy. The primary fuel source of the human body is glucose. It's sugar and ideally a natural form. Now, when I talk about sugar, I am not talking about table sugar, processed sugar, high fructose corn syrup, all the things that we know are bad for us. I'm talking about fruit. I'm talking about rice or beans or oatmeal, whole foods. So we wanna eat a whole food diet. So the primary fuel source of the human body is glucose that comes from these whole foods. And these foods are not bad for us. They're, they're often labeled bad, especially if somebody does have diabetes or a metabolic disorder. We say, what do we need to do? Eat low carb, avoid fruits, things that can spike your blood sugar. Another primary fuel source of the human body would be fats. So we know fats can be a fuel source. So think about like the ketogenic diet a um, lot of benefits, a lot of research, a lot of people doing keto. The problem is keto or a high fat diet is four times more calorically dense than a glucose molecule. So it's a heavier fuel source, a, a higher um, caloric fuel source. And that can work if you're doing something like keto, high fat and avoiding sugars, starches, and carbohydrates. So here's the point. What's the typical standard American diet? High fat, high sugar. High fat, high sugar over time creates a metabolic problem, a major metabolic problem in the human body. And that's what's happening today. And we're talking about even the worst forms of fats and sugars the high fructose corn syrup, the white sugar, the seed oils, the fried foods. So you eat high fat, high sugar, you're going to have a problem. Process it, you make it even worse. But when you're trying to correct a metabolic disorder, you need to understand that you still cannot eat high fat, high sugar, or you're going to have a metabolic problem. You're not going to correct metabolism. So in other words, you can't eat lots of avocado, coconut oil, nuts and seeds that are healthy foods, and also eat lots of fruit and oatmeal and rice and beans and healthy foods because you have a metabolic challenge and those are competing fuel sources and you're not going to correct metabolism. So I hope that makes sense. Here's the solution. And it's contrary to what most people will think. But there is lots and lots, a whole ocean of research out there on what actually causes insulin resistance and actually causes metabolic problems and how you make mice or humans, it doesn't matter, animals or humans, how you make them insulin resistance, which leads to diabetes, cancer, other extreme disease conditions, it's by feeding them a high fat diet, not by feeding them a high sugar diet. And again, I'm talking natural, healthy sugars, not processed white sugar. 
That's what the research shows. So how you correct metabolism is you need to start working towards what I call a whole food plant-based diet. Now I'm saying don't eat meat. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying like that meat's bad for us or we shouldn't be eating meat. I'm saying the main problem is the fats, the high fats, even, yes, the healthy fats. And I know that might be so contrary or different than what so many people have heard, but we've seen this be true in our own family. I've seen this be true for so many of my clients that I work with. So what I'm encouraging people to do is to eat fruits, vegetables in their whole form. Depending on where you're at, you might be able to eat some whole food carbohydrates. That would be your oatmeal and your rice and your beans and your lentils. Again, whole foods, but we have to go low fat. Now that doesn't mean no fat, that doesn't mean being weird and go buying all the low fat, no fat stuff at the store. I'm saying now we're not intentionally eating tablespoons, uh, table, tablespoonfuls, that's hard to say, of oil, or eating nuts for every snack, or eating tons of avocado, or cooking in lots of oils, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We have to get the fats out of the diet when we have a metabolic problem. Now, if you're not metabolically challenged, and you're extremely fit, and you're athletic, you can probably eat a more rounded diet of, of healthy fats and healthy carbs. But most people who are trying to correct their health, that's not going to work. So, in summary, again, fruits in their whole form, vegetables in their whole form. Of course, we can juice too, that's amazing. We can eat healthy, quality, plant or animal-based proteins. We should be able to eat some whole food carbohydrates. Again, beans, oatmeal, rice, etc. A processed carbohydrate would be the breads, the pasta, the pizza, the crackers, the chips, right? All of those things. And ideally, we don't want to eat a lot of those things for sure, even if they're quote unquote organic or whatever. Again, we're trying to correct metabolism here. And we want to start to get out and eliminate the fats. Now, you're going to have questions related to that. One question I get all the time is, well, what about olive oil? What about salad dressing? I'm not necessarily talking about a good quality olive oil-based salad dressing. That's normal to most people's diets, and that, that's a good thing, right? We hear all about the Mediterranean diet and how beneficial olive oil is. It's all the extra fats. It's all the excessive amount of fats people are eating with uh, every day, especially cooking with oils. Nuts and seeds is often a go-to snack. Think about granola, right? It's healthy for us, but what is it? High fat, high sugar. Think about trail mix. What is it? High fat, high sugar. Again, those are the things we're trying to avoid. So hopefully that gives you a general understanding of metabolism, what the research shows around metabolism. Again, knowing that fats are actually what cause the insulin resistance. Fats is actually what clogs up the system and the receptors, uh, which I didn't get into, but I just real quick wanna share that what happens is, is when you eat high fat, high sugar, and the cells are clogged up, the liver's clogged up, the muscles and the tissues are clogged up. That's when the cells close the door and say, hey, we're closed for business. We're not gonna allow any more fat or sugar into the cells. And that's what creates the insulin problem as the body continues to produce insulin to try to usher that into the cells. Now, guess what? You have sugar in your bloodstream, fats in your bloodstream, and insulin in your bloodstream, and you can easily see all this in blood work. You can see the metabolic problems that happen with blood work. We've seen so many people eating keto, paleo, thought they were eating healthy, and their blood work didn't change. Their blood work didn't improve. Oftentimes their blood work gets worse, and it's because of exactly what I'm trying to explain to you in this video. So I, that, I hope that helps. Please ask us any additional questions you have. I know you're gonna have questions, but that's the general concept of how to correct metabolism.